Hey gang, Poppy here. If you're not over the age of 18, go away. Seriously, go. Go, 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 go. I don't want you here. This show is for old men. So unless you got gray hair, uh, old ladies, you're welcome too. If you're under 18, get out. Get out. Okay, go. Hey, gang, Poppy here. What time is it? No, you're wrong. It's time for Poppy's Brew Review. <laughs> Today we have uh, Natural Ice. Uh, I'm not too sure, but considering there's a Anheuser Busch Eagle on the label, <laughs> okay. Now the first pour. A nice medium amber liquid, plenty of carbonation. The head didn't last very long. Tastes like Budweiser. Which would uh, stand to reason if that is an Anheuser Busch Eagle on it, right? Yeah. Ice brewed. Turn it upside down, they're all the same to me, right? I don't know, I don't taste no difference. I mean, for, for as much as it means to me, it could be pretzel buns for your cheeseburger. Why someone would want pretzel flavored buns for a meat sandwich. I don't know. <clears throat> Neutral flavor on the burp. Nine five point oh shoot, sorry five point nine percent alcohol by volume. Hmm. Hmm. It's beer. I imagine it isn't very expensive since we broke now PG and E ate all our allowances. I guess I was a good boy and someone decided I deserved a treat. And since I was given it, hey, Poppy's got to review it. <laughs> Ah. Ah. And 
And there you see some more of the computer room. Here's my hospital mug. There's the crate. Another computer sitting on. This is the computer. <laughs> and back over here, this is that's a scanner. It's supposed to be a all-in-one printer, fax, scanner. I scan. <laughs> I don't print. I don't fax. <clears throat> oh. Excuse me. Just plain bad manners, and there's no excuse for it. Oh, come on. It's Poppy's Brewery. You expect me to be totally uh, Ben Stein about this? No. And hey, after the day I had today, you should be happy that I have any giggle in me. No, I'm not going to go into it. No, not even so. <coughs> In case anyone hadn't uh, found out yet, you see up here, there, above my finger. Yeah. There, now, see, straight up above the finger. That sticker is from Everett's Workshop up in British Columbia. Check out his channel. He does some nice work. All 1.67 of you. Hey, I got 25 subscribers. Do the mathematics. 1.67. So that's Emma and a little over half of another person watch me. <laughs> I used to even be able to count on my daughter-in-law watching me, but since she is closer to home and doesn't have to go to YouTube to see me, <laughs> I lost a regular viewer. <laughs> Move closer to home so she didn't have to go to YouTube to see Poppy. What can I say? <sighs> yeah. Foam isn't very resilient. <laughs> so far, it's the gassiest beer I've reviewed. If you don't like burping, you may not like natural ice. Because while commenting on the flavor after taste of the burp, you know, to a connoisseur, you want to know. Does it taste like dragon farts on the burp or not? <laughs> oh yes, he has a way with words, does he? Well, 
That's natural ice. <clears throat> Definitely the gassiest beer I've reviewed to date. I believe that relates to the non the short lifespan of the bubbles, you know, and the foam. <laughs> Wayne's recording. Just keep it clean. Or dead soldier. Taste neutral, not hoppy, not malty. Gassy as all hell. Five point nine alcohol, huh? Yeah, it feels like about that. Wow, eleven minutes already? Well, I'm going to go now. Uh, happy beer drinking to you. Um, natural ice. I hope it's cheap because it's a burpy beer and it doesn't have all that great a flavor. But at 5.9% alcohol, if it's cheap, it's a good buzz, huh?